Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to the real kitchen delicious food made simple in today's video I'm going to show you how I make three different pizzas using one single uh, dough recipe and also I'm going to show you how to make a delicious paste for the pizza just using regular tin tomatoes great thing about this recipe is that you don't need any special equipments all you need is just normal oven tray it's just basic ingredients and that's it we can make pizza so now let's start with the ingredients now all we have to do is uh, put our flour in a large bowl we also need some yeast some salt corn flour some olive oil a little bit of sugar and that's all of our ingredients and finally just to mix everything we just need some warm water and you try and make the water really warm not too hot so now step one all we need to do is activate our yeast so what i've done is i've just put all the yeast in a bowl add a little bit of sugar and then add a couple of tablespoons of the warm water and this is just a process to reactivate the yeast so um, just to see really if the yeast is really alive you just want to mix set this aside for about five minutes and then i'll show you what you'll see next once the yeast mixture is ready you will notice it becomes really nice and foamy and also it gets slightly thicker and then now all we need to do is bring everything together so the first step you want to have your uh, flour in a bowl add the semolina flour or uh, corn flour and then we're going to give everything a mix and then I like to always make a little well to just to allow everything to go in there. We're going to add some salt for flavor and also taste. And then we're going to add some uh, olive oil. You can add um, some butter. However, uh, olive oil just gives that extra flavor. And then we're going to add our uh, yeast mixture that is already a foamy. And then all we need to do now is uh, add our water, which I'm using warm water in stages. Always, whenever mixing dough, just try and add the water in stages. So you kind of uh, make sure you have, um, you can control the consistency. So it's really important. If you add all the water in one go, then it becomes either too liquidy or sometimes it becomes um, too hard. So you just want to balance things slowly, step, step, step by step once everything is done i've got some flour that i'm going to use to help me uh, knead and also help uh, once i transfer the mixture onto the kitchen counter so you want to dust some flour on there and then just knead the dough for a good five to seven minutes until everything comes together and i like to do this really well you can definitely use a uh, machine to do this however Whenever working with dough, I just love to use my hands. Since I'm not doing a mass production, I'm only uh, making pizza for my family. So um, it's definitely not something that um, I need to uh, use other machines. I can just try and use my hands. And it's quite fun to work with dough, guys. Definitely really fun to work with. You can see our dough is coming together and it's becoming nice and smooth. And this is the beauty of mixing dough. It starts really... Um, you know messy and then suddenly you have this beautiful dough that has come together just like uh, really nice and smooth and that shows uh, that our dough is now almost ready to be set aside for it to raise for a few hours you ever heard this term where they say baking is therapy this is definitely a therapy like i enjoy working with dough and it's just so fascinating to see the dough come together and then at this stage is something that you don't want to let the dough sit. You just want to keep kneading and keep kneading just for fun. Even though you know deep down you've done it enough. But that's the beauty of baking guys. So now um, we're going to just apply some oil. I'm using just the leftover of the um, olive oil I had in there. Apply the bowl and apply it onto the bowl and then just apply it onto the dough as well dust with some flour and then now all we need to do is set aside for this beautiful dough to do its magic and then i'll show you guys all the filling for the pizza the other great thing of this recipe is that we will be making some tomato sauce just using regular tin tomatoes so all i've done is open a tin tipped it into my uh, blender cup and then you just want to add some seasoning some salt i've added one garlic there for flavor some oregano and this is has this beautiful smell to it that you know will change your pizza um, base and then we're going to add some black pepper 
so this sauce will not be cooked all we need to do is add um, we've got to add one more ingredient which is some olive oil and then all we need to do is blend this to a nice smooth texture and that's our tomato uh, sauce done for the pizza and i love doing this you can see it's all ready now so for the pizza toppings i'm using some mozzarella that i shredded and some regular cheddar cheese some sliced onions sliced peppers you can use any type some olive oils that i have cut in half sweet corn fresh tomato and also i'm using some spinach which is optional you can add some or otherwise you can leave it out and then also i have some cooked chicken which was our uh, yesterday's lunch leftover so it's just some cooked um, chicken press that's been cut into little strips and then i've got some grated car um, carrots and different uh, things together so you can use any type of meat topping of your choice or you can simply leave it as vegetarian and then you can see our beautiful dough has done its magic and it's now ready to be uh, divided into i always like to divide into four or into three and then um, we're going to shape our pizzas And we're just going to work with this little bowl and the first pizza that i'm doing is going to be the kids one which is a uh, very basic all we need to do is roll out our dough into a nice round circle i'm going to be using just a regular uh, baking tray so just make sure it fits the one you have at home if it's a large one you can definitely make large pizza but if it's a small one just roll it into a uh, slightly small and then once we've done that i'm going to transfer this onto a um, baking tray with uh, which i have lined with a baking sheet and then all we need to do is apply our tomato sauce that we've made earlier this is a no cook tomato sauce this recipe it's just easy and you will notice the pizza will taste so delicious and you can see it's all about you know putting um minimum effort and then getting that maximum taste like one of our favorite chef always says that so and now all we're gonna do is cut with some sweet corn and our mixed uh, mozzarella and um cheddar and then this is the kids friendly pizza as you all know kids pizzas are very basic some of the kids actually hate sweet corn or um, even that is something that they don't like and then all you do is bake the pizza in the oven for about uh, 200 degrees at about eight, 15 to 18 minutes and the pizza is ready and our first pizza is ready to be enjoyed and you can see it's so delicious so golden color and it's just full of flavor and nobody will believe that this pizza was made at home, but yes, you have. Now that the kids are sorted and they're eating the pizza, time to move on to the grown-ups. Next, all we need to do is do the same process, roll out the dough, and then you just want to roll out into a nice and round shape, or if you can just square will work fine it's not about how it looks it's about the taste and once we've done that this the great thing about this chicken pizza is it's going to be slightly spicy so definitely not kids pizza and then uh we're going to do the same thing and transfer this onto our baking tray we're covered with baking sheet and then we're going to apply our uh, tomato sauce so since it's all about the lockdown and everyone has turned into baking i really wanted to share a pizza recipe with you since i really want you to try and do everything that you go out to eat for example you always think of pizza how about someday this weekend you try and make pizza for yourself and your family and you can see it wasn't complicated i'm still alive at the end of it and i'm still you know recording this uh, video so definitely guys try it and let me know how it is 
and once we've applied the uh, tomato sauce i like to add a bit of cheese sometimes just at the top and then um i'll finish with some more cheese but for now i like to just add some cheese at the first after the chicken and then you want to add as much as vegetables you want we love um, pizza that has um, different toppings so i've added some onions the sliced peppers the sweet corn the olives i mean you can add what you want <laughs> <laughs> pineapples i mean you know uh it's what you what pleases you and then i'm just going to scatter with some more cheese and mozzarella fight at the top and this is just to allow the pizza to become nice and golden color and because i said this pizza is for grown-ups i'm going to scatter some more of um some chili flakes on top i mean we don't want this to be shared with the kids so yeah, that's why we're adding some more spice. And then finally, one of my favorite spices, oregano, which works really well, well with uh, Italian food, especially pizzas, pastas. It gives, it has that beautiful aroma, especially when you bake in the oven. It comes out so nice. And now all we need to do, the same thing again, bake in the oven for about 20 minutes until it gets nice and golden color. If you feel... Um, the pizza um uh, your oven slightly maybe make sure it's nice and hot before putting it in so just make sure you check the temperature and always preheat your oven and you can see our pizza is out and it's so delicious you can look at that i mean you can say this pizza is something that you've just bought from uh, one of these favorite um don't even want to name them but you know which ones i'm talking about and guess what you've made them at home and you can do this at home guys try and take yourself into the kitchen and practice it will definitely get easy you can see how delicious this pizza is it's nice and golden color it's so cheesy it's got chicken in it's got vegetables in and you know what we've done earlier for the kids and now it's your turn Finally, all we're going to do is make our final pizza, which is tomato and pesto. This is my all-time favorite pizza. It's so delicious. And all you need is some pesto that is ready in a jar or you can make one yourself. However, no need to go to the extra job today and just buy one in a jar. And then you just want to apply onto the pizza and then make sure it's uh, covered really well. And then we're going to line some uh, fresh tomatoes however way you want and if you've ever tasted uh, the uh, paninis that have pesto and tomato and mozzarella this one tastes exactly the same and then um yeah so definitely try that and then you'll notice and then all you need to do is just you know put lots of mozzarella on top and finally it's ready to go in the oven this pizza is so delicious and once it comes out of the oven you will notice that beautiful green just you know so vibrant so delicious and it's something that you definitely want to try look at this guy so beautiful everything has you know kind of melted in the cheese the tomatoes and it looks so beautiful i'm just gonna cut and show you guys how it looks and that's all done for today guys we've done three pizzas just using one simple uh, dough recipe and you saw me mix the dough from beginning i mean from scratch and you can see how the pizzas have turned out nice and golden color so beautiful so delicious and so cheesy we've done three pizzas one for the kids one growing up special and one which was my favorite so and this is all of our pizzas you can see them I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe. If you have, don't forget to press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I post every single week. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And until we meet next time, Assalamu Alaikum and have a beautiful day.